Hello. Today I decided to do a little Coco Melon, the Dead Eye Baby Show, with the uh, wonderful melon of the Cocos. Turn it into something more what it's really like. First, you gotta start out with a little bit of foil because you don't want to use up too much of your clay. Clay is semi expensive. <laughs> so, just rolling it into a nice square shape. Getting it ready for this beautiful cocoa melon that we were ready to see. Realized I didn't have enough, went back and grabbed some more. So that way I could make it a little bigger. Because I wanted to make sure to get this nice TV melon shape of the cocoa melon. Because there's nothing like the wonderful watching that show when you have uh, some small children, which I do. Got to make sure to smash down those sides to kind of get that squarish, but circular siding. Kind of gives it like a good melon shape. After I get it into a good shape that I'm thinking, oh, I like that pretty good. It's time to start covering it with some clay. I'm using the same type of beige clay this time because you got to have that uh, humanish face that the Coco Melon has. I was going to use some UV resin on this, but ended up not. But here we go. Use some of what I had last left over from last time. Get that rolled out and stuck on there. Make sure it's nice and well attached. And get another piece. This took a little bit more than the last one. Because it was uh, quite a bit bigger. And since we're cooking in an oven, you want to have a nice... Something that can uh, withstand the heat. Like some foil. You just got to flatten it out and get it on there. Get it all stuck together. Get a decent shape out of it. There we go. Our beautiful, beautiful thing. Then I cut off an extra piece just for the front. So that way I can have something to carve the face out of. So I have enough room to get a good face made. So the back is filled with some uh, aluminum foil, and while the front is completely hollow and ready to be carved, and just flattening it down, get it ready for the wonderful Melanie TV, making it have a good smash. I have a Coco Melon is a show that I watch with uh, my two-year-old every once in a while, because if I don't, it'll flip out and yell at me. <laughs> That's what two-year-olds like to watch. Bit of a musically musical show. It just makes you. And I wanted to also capture the uh, wonderful excitement that adults have with the face of this Coco Melon. After about 10 minutes in. <laughs> oh, and our uh, my cutting tools there. Found that in the kitchen. Not sure what it was for. Really tiny pie? I'm not really sure. But here we go. Now I gotta get those nice lines like the like the melon has this shows the separation between the TV and the screen just using a cutting tool just kind of spread it out and uh, get a little chunk cut out attach it back to the side don't want to waste any clay don't waste clay here now I got that flattened to about where I want it it's time to add in something else. Maybe a nice little, uh, oh yeah, little flattening areas. And I got to decide which tool I'm going to use to make this mouth. I decided on my wooden cutting tool. Get a nice uh, cutout. I want with a kind of a screaming, screaming face. Get a nice circular cutout there. Just pull out all that extra clay. Set it to the side for later. Use my ball tool to kind of smash it down and get the shape I want of a ghostly scream. What a beautiful face we got going on here. And then I was trying to decide what I should do with the eyes and I was like, oh, I'll just use another ball tool. Give it a nice stretched eyes of I'm so tired and this is not helping. Like it really does, when you have to when you get to listen to all those musical wonderfulnesses. Give it a nice stretch to the eyes. 
Showing the bags. Showing the tiredness. Give it a little nose with that extra clay. Now it's time to make our topper. Because the Cocomelon does have a nice uh, antenna on top. So I roll a little ball and it's smashed on the top. <coughs> it's spread out so it actually sticks, becomes part of the TV set itself. Because it just kind of sinks itself into itself. Kind of reminds me of a jester hat. So that's kind of what I went with the idea for it. Because the antennas with the two little balls on it. They're like a little jester hanging out and ready to make you have a good day. Ready to act for the kingdom and make them feel good. Time to go bake. Baked a little too long. Cracked the face a bit. But that's okay. I know what I can use those for. Because the cocoa melon does have a nice face. But we're going to start out with a nice white co coated paint all over it. Just uh, in the areas where we're not going to have that actual face fill look. Left the face actually same color as the clay. Because that's what it is. It's a humanish face on the front. And now it's time to... After I get it all primed and ready. Time to add some more paint. Let's get the mouth nice and... Give it that horrible abyss look. Nice black coat on the inside of the mouth. Make it look like it's just screaming out in horror. The ghost of somebody that's watched too much in too many hours. <laughs> Gotta make sure they get it nice and spread out in there. And don't forget the eyes. Gotta have those nice abyss of eyes. I do add a little bit of a pupil on the eyes eventually, but uh, they're not very well noticed in any of the shots I took. But it's a white and red pupil. Make sure you get those eyes nice and covered in their new glory looking. There it is. A face of total horror. Or fear. Next, I need to wait for that paint to dry so I can add some more items. And after some time, I make the decision on which colors I'll need. Get them all set up. And I'm going to start with the nice cheeks. The cheeks of the cocoa melon are usually pink, but I'm going to do a nice red coming out of these cracks. You can make your own decision on what that is. Well, what's coming out of those cracks? You make your decision. Get the paintbrush nice and wiped off so it can wet it down and get it ready for something else. And remember when you're baking these, 275, 15 minutes. I did 20 and that's why it cracked. <laughs> Five minutes too many. I was thinking, ah, it'll be better at 20 minutes, but nope. Should have just did 15. But it helped out in this case because I need to add those red cheeks anyway. So why not? Next we're going to add the uh, little uh, jester hat bottom piece. Which is kind of a pinkish purple color. So that's what I found was kind of a nice pinkish purple. Just add in on there and get that nice circular area. Gotta make sure it's nice and Cover it all the way around. I'm trying not to get the antenna because that's a completely different color. Just because I want to make sure to catch all the beauty of it. And there we go. A nice pinkish purple. Just got to get that one nice and wiped off now. And ready for the next color. This took a little bit longer than the other one did because of the, all the different layers of paint. So a lot more time to wait for everything to dry. Then I added in the next colors for the antennas, which is a purple and a blue. Kind of a bluish purple, but it's still a dark purple. After that dried off good, it's time in that in our main colors. I went with a layer of light green all the way around because you can't make anything lighter, but you can make it darker. So I added in a nice light green all the way around this 
beautiful, beautiful picture we're making of this nice cocoa melon. You kind of seen the red in the eyes on that one. And there we go. We're starting to add in the darker greens for the lines and stripes of that watermelony shape. Got to make sure that it's the correct colors and ready to go. This little TV. And here he is. The beautiful cocoa melon. Ready to come to your TV. I even added a swirly for his mouth. To make you know he's hypnotizing you to bring you in. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one out there. Please like and subscribe. And I'll have more of these soon. Oh, oh, oh.